where in this whole wide world could a person ever find a sweeter, loving sister, so tender and so kind? If I had searched in every sphere for one to be like you, I would have searched in vain, for there are none. This is true. God put in you a heart of gold much bigger than the rest. It shines so bright and beautiful, refined, put to the test. Though your words may not be many, I do not mind at all. For words can be found worthless, spoken from a stone-cold wall. But when you speak, it's from the heart, and it means so very much. Because when you speak, it comes along with a gentle, loving touch. Simplicity is beautiful, both beautiful and rare. And God has placed simplicity within you just to share. You may times feel that you have not given much in contribution, but this is how he has preserved your innocent constitution. God bless your days with peace and joy and with deep, deep knowing that your time on earth has been his choice and that you will keep on growing in all he has prepared for you so when this life is done, he'll open up his arms of love and say, Patricia May, come on home. This lady went through so much in her life. As her little sister, I know the things that she endured. Mama was only six months pregnant with her when she was born. Patricia was born weighing less than two pounds at birth. She was a miracle to survive when they didn't even have incubators or modern day equipment to keep such little treasures alive. A man in the hospital where she was born devised a little box with an electric light bulb to keep her at an even temperature. Hot water bottles were too uneven to keep her warm. She was too little to feed with a bottle so they used medicine droppers to feed her. Mama said she was so little she could fit in a small shoebox. It's no doubt that God meant her to be on this earth. And I'm sure both Mama and Daddy as well as Patricia herself questioned why. The years were not always happy for her. Many, many challenges. I know personally she wondered why she couldn't have been normal like other children or even like her brother and her sisters. But God still preserved her. And many, many years later, in one of her greatest struggles, she had a dream where Jesus came to her house. She opened the door, and without a word, he came in. He sat down to her dining room table, took her by the hand, looked her in the eye and said just four simple little words. Patricia, simplicity is beautiful. It changed her life. I feel so proud to have had her as my sister. God granted her several more years to live after that with Jesus in her dream. And now, She's in heaven, in his presence forevermore. I love you, Tricia.